Good morning, folks. If you thought yesterday's electromagnetic star disk story was stimulating, just wait for today's electric current sheet solar flare. We've got other news from deep space as well, but let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last day on our star exceptionally calm. No sunspots or solar flares or filament eruptions. South of the northern coronal hole dark patches is a sideways S-shaped feature that is also darker than the surroundings. That's a major plasma filament system we're watching closely today in case it erupts. Solar wind phi angle in blue, shifting like a pole reversal in the solar wind and with the density in orange rising, won't be long before the speed of the plasma surges upward. Geomagnetic conditions expected to intensify when that happens. The culprit is that departing dark patch, the northern coronal hole system, while on the left you see the south is transequatorial and on deck to face Earth tonight. Top lithospheric news of the last day were three volcanoes. Seismic swarm beneath the Costa Rican mountain, Agung in Bali put out another small eruption while the world awaits a major one there, and in Italy it appears Stromboli popped one eruption while everyone slept Thursday night. Folks, citizen scientists have been helping to look at the millions of stars in the sky, and it is the people who have discovered a five-planet system that is beginning to resemble the high-planet population we keep seeing with these systems. Interestingly, scientists say all these planets were formed farther away and slowly drifted into their current position. You remember this animation. It's from NASA's Goddard SVS from our four-part series on YouTube called Where Are We Going? Today we're focusing on the lobes of the galaxy, however. The central galactic bulge of superheated gas doesn't shine well in X-ray or optical light, but the gamma ray signature seen by Greenbank this week indicates the presence of hundreds of hydrogen cloud masses confined and streaming away from the galactic center. It's cosmic wind, they say. Galactic wind. Not unlike our star's polar coronal hole ejecta. Top story here. So hopefully we remember the titanic solar flare that erupted just over the western limb on September 10th of 2017. Apparently a few scientists wanted to study that line shooting straight out to the right during the flare. It's the x-ray oversaturation making the x oddly enough, but it's that line going out there into space that got them interested. Their determination is that it is a current sheet. Unlike a regular current which fills a space with particle flow, a current sheet is confined to a layer and its boundaries. What I must note is that these scientists missed the fact that the current sheet double layer is visible in the optical on Soho Lasco C2 in the perfect position. It's one thing to call it a current sheet. You can clearly see it's a double layer. Folks, today is Saturday, so we've got your weekly Fly on the Wall podcast coming up in a few hours. At 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we'll be on the members chat page for the pre-show discussion. Come chat with us. We've got the world on wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.